Welcome everybody. My name is Guy, Red Seal Welder, with over 15 years of experience and professor at our local college. And we're here today to talk about MIG welding. If you're somebody looking to get into welding or if you're looking to just improve your welds, this video is for you. In producing a desirable weld bead, we want to look at three separate variables or parameters, if you will. One is angles, the other one is stick out, and the third one is direction of travel. When we talk about angles, we have two separate angles. One is our work angle, and the other one is our travel angle. Our work angle is our angle relative to the actual work, the plate that we're welding on. So if we have a plate that's 180 degrees, all right, uh, the rule of thumb is that we come in half the included angle. Okay? In this case here, it would be 90 degrees. If you were to weld up a T-joint or a lap joint, well, that included angle is now 90 degrees. So the rule of thumb is still half the included angle. We would come in at a 45. And we'll demonstrate that later when we get into welding. So the next angle I want to talk about is your travel angle. So your travel angle should be within 0 to 10 degrees off of 90. Okay? So your travel angle is the direction that you're moving in. How far off of 90 degrees should you be? Okay? Whether it be pushing or pulling, we want to stay within 10 degrees of that. If we go outside of 10 degrees, um, we can still do it. It's just the steeper that angle becomes, the more risk you have um, bringing in atmosphere, which can cre create porosity, it can create um, certain, certain defect problems and stuff like that. It also has a, a direct impact on penetration. Okay? And again, we'll talk about pushing and pulling uh, later on. The next variable is your stick out. And this is a measurement from the end of your contact tip to the end of the wire. So that is a stick out. We want to be within quarter to half of an inch. So depending on the wire size and the type of transfer mode will determine how far that stick out is. It doesn't mean that um, we're, we're stuck between quarter and half. It just means for the short circuit transfer, this is where you want to be. We'll talk about transfer modes uh, in a separate video, okay? So again, the distance from the end of the contact tip to the wire, not the actual nozzle, right? The third thing I want to talk about is your direction of travel. So whether we be pushing or pulling. So two examples, or I should say three examples, and we're all traveling in the exact same direction, okay? Is what's changing right now is your inclination or your travel angle, right? So we're within zero to 10 degrees on both. The difference is that one, we're considered to be pushing. The other one, we're considered to be pulling or dragging, right? These angles have a direct impact on penetration. So depending on the thickness of material that you're welding or um, depending on the joint, it may, it may have a, a decision on whether you'd be pulling or pushing the puddle. Generally speaking, thinner plate, less penetration with pushing. Okay? So if you've got thinner plate, you want less penetration, you want a flatter looking bead, you we push the puddle. And for the most part, short circuit transfer, you'll be pushing. If we drag the puddle or pull it, it'll give you more penetration. This is more associated with thicker plate. Right? Some people choose to weld right in the center, right at 90 degrees. This means that they're not, they're not deviating outside of 90 degrees in a push or a pull. Keep in mind, this is the direction of travel. All right? Three variables, angles, stick out, and direction of travel.